Did you know that up to 80% of women develop fibroids by the age of 40? That's a staggering statistic. And for many women, the idea of dealing with fibroids, and even worse, facing a hysterectomy with all its side effects, feels overwhelming. But what if there's a natural solution to help? Subscribe to our channel and watch the video to the end to see how fibroids can be shrunk using this single vitamin and how to correctly use the vitamin to shrink fibroids. Let's dive into what fibroids are and uncover a fascinating connection that could change how you approach your fibroid symptoms. First, let's take some clues about fibroids. Did you know that fibroids tend to decrease after menopause? Interesting, right? What changes in the body during menopause? A drop in estrogen levels. Now, estrogen is a powerful growth hormone, and its role as a primary driver of fibroids and endometriosis becomes even clearer when we consider that fibroids often grow during pregnancy or with the use of hormone replacement therapy or birth control pills. But there's more to the story. Conditions like obesity, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, and polycystic ovarian syndrome all increase the risk of fibroids. And for reasons that researchers continue to explore, black women are three to nine times more likely to develop fibroids than others. What's the common thread here? It's estrogen. Fibroids are highly sensitive to estrogen. They have more estrogen receptors than the surrounding uterine tissue and are loaded with an enzyme called aromatase, which converts androgens into estrogen. But fibroids are more than just estrogen-driven growths. Let's look closer. Fibroids are made of uterus tissue, but they're much harder and less elastic due to their higher collagen content. They exist in a low-oxygen, hypoxic environment, which promotes their growth. And they're marked by high inflammation, a known contributor to disease progression. So, what connects all these dots? What do estrogen sensitivity, hypoxia, and inflammation have in common? The answer. Vitamin D deficiency. Here's the truth about vitamin D and fibroids. Research shows mixed reviews, but there's one clear reason for this inconsistency. Most studies don't use enough vitamin D to make a significant impact. Many still operate on outdated recommendations of 600 to 800 IUs daily, designed for bone health, not the demands of other critical systems like the immune system, reproductive organs, brain, and muscles. But here's the good news. Vitamin D can inhibit fibroid growth and using it correctly could make all the difference. Stick around to learn how proper doses of vitamin D might be the key to naturally shrinking fibroids and improving overall health. Can vitamin D shrink fibroids? The science unveiled. Vitamin D plays a critical role in managing fibroids, tackling their root causes in fascinating ways. First, Vitamin D acts as an aromatase inhibitor, blocking the enzyme responsible for converting androgens into estrogen. Since fibroids thrive on excess estrogen, this inhibition helps prevent their growth. But that's not all. Vitamin D also promotes apoptosis, a process where fibroid cells self-destruct, stopping their uncontrolled growth. Additionally, its powerful anti-inflammatory properties work wonders because chronic inflammation often contributes to tumor development, including fibroids. In fact, vitamin D is one of the most potent natural anti-inflammatory agents available. However, there's a twist. Vitamin D's effectiveness can be limited in environments with low oxygen levels or hypoxic conditions, which fibroids often create. Fibroids, being dense and collagen-rich, generate these hypoxic conditions, making standard vitamin D doses less effective. This explains why higher doses of vitamin D are often necessary to penetrate the fibroid tissue and achieve results. Vitamin D doesn't just stop at reducing estrogen production. It also regulates the activity of estrogen receptors in the body. There are two types of estrogen receptors. Estrogen receptor alpha, which promotes tumor growth and estrogen receptor beta, 
which helps shrink cells that could turn into tumors. Here's the exciting part. Vitamin D supports the beneficial estrogen receptor beta while inhibiting the growth-promoting alpha receptor, providing a natural break system against fibroids. It even helps the liver produce hormones that lower the amount of free estrogen circulating in the body. This connection between vitamin D deficiency and fibroids is particularly evident in populations with higher risks. For example, black women are more likely to develop fibroids due to melanin in their skin, which reduces the body's ability to synthesize vitamin D from sunlight. With lower baseline levels of vitamin D and higher spikes of estrogen, the risk of fibroids increases dramatically. Obesity also plays a role. Vitamin D gets diluted in fat cells, meaning that individuals with higher body fat need significantly more vitamin D to achieve the same effect. This deficiency contributes to the development of fibroids and other conditions, such as type 2 diabetes and high blood pressure, both of which are closely linked to low vitamin D levels. Interestingly, research shows that supplementing with vitamin D can lower blood pressure and help manage conditions like polycystic ovarian syndrome, PCOS, which involves insulin imbalances. These findings reinforce the connection between vitamin D levels and overall hormonal balance, making it a key player in managing fibroids. The evidence is clear. Without sufficient vitamin D, addressing fibroids becomes a much bigger challenge. The key isn't just taking vitamin D, but ensuring the dosage is high enough to make an impact. Most studies using the outdated 600 to 800 IU recommendations fail to produce results because they don't account for the higher needs of people with fibroids. In the next part, we'll explore the research and case studies that shed light on how vitamin D can shrink fibroids and provide practical tips for incorporating this powerful nutrient into your routine. Stick around for the answers you've been looking for. The research on vitamin D and fibroids may seem mixed, but once you dig deeper, it's clear why results vary. Let's start with some fascinating studies. In 2013, a study published in Reproductive Science revealed a significant reduction in fibroid size after participants took 25,000 IUs of vitamin D3 weekly for 12 weeks. Imagine if they had taken this dose daily. Results could have been even more impressive. Another 2014 study focused on African-American women who are at higher risk for vitamin D deficiency and fibroids. The participants, who had low vitamin D levels, were given 50,000 IUs of vitamin D3 biweekly for 10 weeks, resulting in a noticeable decrease in fibroid size. While the outcome was promising, taking vitamin D every day would likely yield even better results. Here's yet another study led by Vantini, which showed that women taking vitamin D experienced no fibroid growth. Meanwhile, those who didn't take vitamin D saw their fibroids grow by a staggering 40%. These findings underscore vitamin D's potential in managing fibroids naturally. So, why aren't more women taking high doses of vitamin D for fibroids? One reason is the persistent fear of toxicity. For instance, when someone mentions taking 50,000 IUs of vitamin D daily, doctors often react with alarm, believing it to be harmful. However, research indicates that vitamin D toxicity only occurs at extremely high doses, hundreds of thousands of IUs daily over several months. The main concern is elevated calcium levels, which could lead to kidney stones. But here's the good news. You can mitigate any potential side effects by pairing vitamin D3 with essential cofactors like magnesium, vitamin K2, and adequate hydration, about two liters of water daily. This balanced approach not only maximizes the benefits of vitamin D, but also significantly reduces any risks. Personal anecdotes further illustrate the incredible potential of vitamin D for shrinking fibroids. One individual reported that her doctor had recommended a hysterectomy due to a large fibroid tumor. Instead, she chose a high-dose vitamin D regimen, combined with K2, magnesium, zinc, and dietary changes. 
Her follow-up MRI revealed the tumor had entered necrosis, effectively shrinking and dying. Another testimonial came from a 50-year-old registered nurse and medical advocate. Initially, she maintained her vitamin D levels at a moderate 30 nanograms per milliliter with 10,000 IUs daily. While she noticed some improvement, it wasn't until she increased her intake to 50,000 IUs daily for one month, along with K2, that she experienced transformative benefits. Her fibroids disappeared, her energy levels soared, and she continues to maintain optimal health with a steady 25,000 IUs daily. These stories highlight an important message. Vitamin D, when taken in adequate doses and combined with the right cofactors, can be a game changer for managing fibroids naturally. It's about more than just preventing surgery. It's about reclaiming control over your health. The evidence is compelling and the results speak for themselves. By incorporating high-dose vitamin D paired with K2, magnesium, and hydration, many women have managed to shrink fibroids, stabilize their symptoms, and avoid invasive procedures like hysterectomies. Keep watching as we unfold more insights in the next part, going deeper into practical tips for incorporating vitamin D into your routine and achieving sustainable results. Let's address an important point. The widespread skepticism and lack of awareness about vitamin D and its incredible potential. Many people, including health professionals, dismiss high doses of vitamin D for fibroid treatment because of lingering concerns about toxicity. But is the fear justified? Let's break it down. One common obstacle is access to evidence-based research. Often, the most valuable studies on vitamin D and fibroids are either locked behind paywalls or buried beneath layers of inaccessible resources. While evidence-based medicine is crucial, we need to recognize that the limited availability of certain research prevents this knowledge from reaching those who need it most. The good news is that there's already a wealth of data available suggesting that high doses of vitamin D, combined with cofactors like magnesium and vitamin K2, can shrink fibroids naturally and improve overall health. The challenge is sifting through the noise and focusing on what truly works. Now, let's revisit the common concern about vitamin D toxicity. Many fear taking higher doses of vitamin D because of outdated information suggesting it's harmful. However, modern research shows that toxicity only occurs at extreme doses, far beyond what's recommended for therapeutic use. The real risk comes from calcium imbalances, which can easily be mitigated by ensuring proper hydration and adding cofactors like magnesium and K2. Here's the takeaway. With the right approach, vitamin D isn't just safe, it's transformative. Incorporating high doses into your routine, along with essential cofactors, can help address fibroid. Growth, inflammation, and estrogen dominance, the key drivers behind fibroid development. If you're struggling with fibroids and searching for a natural way to regain control, vitamin D supplementation combined with dietary changes and a focus on nutrient cofactors could be the game changer you need. Remember, consistency is key. Long-term commitment to maintaining optimal vitamin D levels is where the magic happens. For more insights into vitamin D's history, benefits, and myths surrounding toxicity, be sure to check out our related videos. And as always, we encourage you to consult your healthcare provider before making any significant changes to your supplementation routine. The journey to better health starts with empowerment. Empowerment through knowledge and taking proactive steps to prioritize your well-being. Let's work together to challenge outdated narratives and uncover the truths that can transform lives.